how to create a navigation bar in Canva. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys two different ways that you can create a navigation bar in Canva. So let's jump right in. Now, the first thing to note is that by default, Canva does not have a feature to create a navigation bar, but we can do that in two different ways. The first way is the default navigation bar created by Canva. It takes each section's name and it converts it into a section where it is going to be mentioned in the navigation bar. To use this default navigation bar, click on publish website on the top right. Once you click on publish website, click on your publish settings. Click on advanced settings and you should be able to find navigation settings. Now you will see for me, navigation settings are directly on the top page where it says whether I want to resize it on mobile devices or include navigation menus. So if I do want to include navigation menus, I will check this option, click on publish site. And now I'll show you guys what the default menu looks like and how you can build your own customizable menu as well. So if I click on visit website over here on the top right, we have a simple navigation menu. However, this navigation menu cannot be customized. The color can't be customized. You can't add your own logo. So to build a website where you can add your own logo in the navigation bar, your own sections, you're going to follow a really simple method. First off, click on elements on the left and then go into shapes. Pick out a square shape and then just place it at the top of your first page. Once you do that, just resize your page like this and what i do recommend is that you take the first page element and move them to the bottom ever so slightly to make a little bit of space for your header once you've done that you can choose your header color from the top left i want to opt for a gray color a darker gray color because i want to use white text on top now after i have done that it's time to add my company logo so I'm just using a default logo. I recommend you guys use your own logos for your businesses. So let's say this is my logo, which is just MS. And I'm just going to resize my logo and place it on the top right like so. And you should see purple lines are going to appear to help you with the alignment. Now click on your logo. Okay, this is really important. And then click on these three dots. Because you want your logo to usually link to your home page, you're going to click on link and then link it to the home page. You will see it says pages in this document. Click on the first page and then click on done. Now it's time to add the rest of your sections. So click on text and then click on add a heading or just click on add a subheading. I'm just going to add a subheading and I'll move it to the top and resize the font a little. So this is the font size I want to be using for all of my menu items. First, I want my home section. Now make sure you're not typing this all in one section. Instead, you want to do this as I'm doing over here. You want different font blocks. I'm going to first add this and I'll change the font by clicking on the top left. And I'll be using this font. No, I don't think this looks nice. I think I want to use maybe, I think I'm going to use this font over here. And then I will also change the color to white. Once I've done that, I will click on this section again, click on the text box, click on these three dots, click on link, and then link this to my home page. After that, I'm going to click on the top where it says underline and I will remove the underline. Now simply copy and paste home a couple of times so it can just fill out the space like so. You can just place these however you want and now you're going to start naming your section. So my next section is my about me section and now I'm going to increase the size of the block and then I will click on edit link and instead of the first document being linked, I want it to link to my second document and then I'll remove the underline. Now I will link the third section, which I can just look at from here, which is my background. And then the, so this is going to be background, and then I'll edit the text as well to say 
background like this. And I'll again increase the size of the text block like so. Now, after the about, we have work experience and then we have skills, my art. So I'll add skills, or let's say I don't want to add all of this. Instead, I want to directly go towards the work with me section. So I'll delete this and then I'll click on the last section and call it work with me. And you can choose different names, that's totally up to you. And then you are going to again do a right click or just click on the three dots for your section, edit the link, and edit it to your chosen section in your website. Once you have completed all this, hold command and then press command on your keyboard and then select all of these or press shift and then select all of these and then click on tidy up under space evenly. Then you can place them all together and they have, you know, equidistant sizing. Now I'm going to place this like so and if I want to add more design elements, let's say I want my header to have lines or stripes, I can add those as well. But I think this looks pretty nice for my design. Now, once I've completed, I can click on publish website and I'll click on republish my website and you guys will see the difference. Now, make sure to uncheck the option for the default navigation menu when you create your own navigation menu in Canva and then republish your website because otherwise it will have two navigation menus within. We're just going to do that and then click on view website. Now, as you guys can see, this is my navigation menu, this is my homepage, then I can go to the about me section, then I can go into the work with me section. However, one thing you will note is that I have to come back up every time I have to access the header. And that is a caveat of using Canva. You can add this header to every page, but usually that doesn't look really nice. So I prefer not to add it. I just like to keep the header on top and people can scroll back if they ever want to uh, access the header again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to create a navigation bar or navigation menu within Canva. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.